PHP 7 allows us to define anonymous class. When you define an anonymous class, you also instantiate it at the same time. Here in this code sample, you can see the definition for an anonymous class that extends class C, implements interface I, and use the trait T. Here you can also see that the word new actually instantiate the anonymous class. In order to define an anonymous class, we just need to type new, because whenever you define an anonymous class, you also instantiate it at the same time. Then the word class, and then over here, if you want to pass over value or values to the constructor of the anonymous class, this is the place to specify those values. Now, in this code sample, we get uh, a new object instantiated from the anonymous class, and that new object has the variable uh, $num that the constructor takes care after assigning it with the value, the value the constructor gets, which is the value 10. So if we check the output of this code sample, and as you can see, this code sample uh, includes a call to var dump and var dump when we call it over here we pass over a reference for the new object instantiated from the anonymous class so we actually get little information about the object and over here you can also see that the object has a variable its name is num and its value is 10. let's try to make something a bit more sophisticated uh, let's, for instance, define a function uh, within the, the class C that our anonymous class extends. For example, if we have here something like public function do something, and do something just includes one line echo something, well, because the anonymous class over here extends C, it is also possible to invoke the function do something on that new object we create. So over here I just assign OB with the reference for the new object instantiated from the anonymous class and then I invoke the function do something. Now let's see the output. The output is the word something just as expected.